we, we started uh, with our system being very compact, like a third of the size of conventional systems, land-based systems, uh, at coasters, uh, so a 4,000 dead weight coaster. Then we moved up to uh, uh, container feeders, being very suitable also if you look at the CO2 logistics and all uh, in and around uh, Europe. And, uh, and now we see uh, with the Eastern Pacific, we, we enter the, the tanker market, which is also a very interesting uh, market. Uh, on the other side, is, they see it as a, as a good option for new builds, where you look at do fuel methanol uh, engines, where you can uh, uh, run on uh, regular fuels, uh, have our system running and capturing the CO2, the ultrafine particles, and uh, reducing the sulfur, being greener than MGO. Uh, and then in the, in the long run, also look at uh, when green methanol is available uh, to uh, use uh, green methanol and capture the CO2 and to bring it back uh, to the green methanol plant. We currently have in production also a 40% CO2 removal unit on a 10 megawatt vessel. And that's actually the one that will be installed for EPS on uh, the Pacific Cobalt. We did a thorough review together with them uh, they were exploring all opportunities in the market and in the end they selected Value Maritime to install a CO2 capture unit on our first product tanker. This CO2 capture unit will be capable of capturing 40% of the exhaust. I think carbon capture systems in general is one of the pieces of the puzzle to decarbonize the maritime industry. In the first step the sulfur and the ultrafine particle matter is removed and in the second step a CO2 converter, as we call it, or an absorber, that's where we remove the CO2. With the technology of Ferrier Maritime to capture CO2 from the exhaust, we're capable of removing 40% of the CO2, whilst only using less than 1% of additional energy consumption on board. Uh, being able to sail on uh, high sulfur fuels, having a fuel uh, saving gain, be greener than MGO, and having the options to capture CO2 when commercially viable uh, due to taxation, CII, or because the customer wants to, do, to reduce their footprint in their supply chain. It's, it's technology that's out there now, so everybody's really focused on the zero emission vessel. We should do so, but currently we have 60,000 old driven vessels around the world and we also need to do something about that uh, and, and that's, uh, that's uh, the, the, the good thing about our system.